peeps, how are you all doing? Welcome to this week's video, and you may have noticed I've been a bit different lately. I think there's something strange happening to me, because I think I'm turning into an American, yo. See, seems to have turned out to be American. And that is probably the worst American accent that you'll ever hear in your lives. I think this has started to come with the way I say Birmingham, not Birmingham. And I don't know why I've been saying that, but... Who cares? So to prove this, and to see how good of an American I can be, I've decided to see if I can eat some American treats, some American candy, and some American drinks. So to help me, I brought some American treats with me, and I thought I'm going to show you what I've got first, and then I'll uh, present my taste. So I'm about to make my very first Pop-Tart, and I have them here ready, and I thought to complement the pop tarts very well, I'm going to be having some lemon zest, brownie and Ashley tea this morning, and I got that in Kmart for five dollars. So that's what I'm going to be having first. Okay. You get two pop tarts per pack. Let me know that. So I take it we just wait for the uh, toaster. So by the looks of it, this has a, a bourbon biscuit and then some icing and some hundreds and thousands. It smells a bit like the cookie crisp breakfast cereal, which I take it is also American. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down in the most delightful way. So, let's try this Pop-Tart. So, the toaster made Pop-Tart, I think, is a 5 out of 5 strawberries. Mmm. 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 So, this is the second part of putting in a Pop-Tart and how to eat it, I guess. This is the Pop-Tart, it's going in the microwave, goes in the microwave for... Heat on high for three seconds. That goes on. Take the plastic thing out. And remember, so that you're not an idiot, metal thing... ...does not go in the microwave. Because microwave... Put that on. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I think it needs another five seconds. Bring my lovely chi over. Anyway, pop top. Mm. I rate this 4.9, I think. I can't do 4.9 out of 5 because I think it's ever so slightly better in the toaster. From the pop tarts, you can see. Now I'm going to carry on with the rest of the food. So, what do we have here? We have the nodes. Twizzlers, Hershey's, Mike and Ike, cookie dough, peanut butter bites. So, I think I'm going to start with the peanut butter bites first and work my way across from right to left. Let's start with the cookie dough first. Let's try a couple of bites. Now, five bites. I do not like them. That's definitely a zero out of five. Ugh. What do we have for the Mike and Ike? We have cherry, lemon, strawberry, lime and orange. Orange. Which surprisingly is orange. The strawberry. 
Well, these are a definite 5 out of 5, because I really like these, actually. These are amazing. Next off we have Hershey's, and this is the cookies and cream candy. I don't know what Hershey's is like, I've heard that Hershey's is not very nice. Now, I wonder whether this is chocolate or whether this is candy. Here we are, I've got four squares, and this is very bubbly. Ooh. Hershey's cookie and cream, chocolate candy. Uh, Hershey's chocolate, I'm going to give that a Four out of five strawberries, because I enjoyed that. I think it could be a bit nicer. But I'm debatable about trying other bits of Hershey's. Next we have Twizzler Bites. Twizzlers. I've heard about Twizzlers. I've never had Twizzlers. Really want to find out what Twizzlers are. So let's open these. Disappointed. They smell wonderful. They don't taste that nice. I give these a two out of five strawberries. I don't like these, but I think I could eat them. And finally, we have nerds. These are watermelon and strawberry cherry. Everything seems to be cherry in America. What? Let's put some watermelon. Apart from I've just broken the packet. I think these are just sugar. So, okay, that's done. What do I give nerds? I give nerds a 3.5 out of 5 strawberries. That's an alright. I'll eat more of these. So, here I am downstairs and I have my selection of drinks with me. So I have my Arizona green tea with honey. I have the Arizona blueberry white tea. Then I have two schnapples. One schnapple is grape seed and the other is schnapple apple. So this is the taste test and I'm going to tell you what I think about each taste. So first of all I'm going to start off with the Arizona iced tea. I really enjoyed that. You can definitely uh, taste the uh, honey in the ice cream tea, and I quite enjoyed that. I'm gonna have a uh, sip of water, so this is like my control. So I'd probably give that a four out of five strawberries because I really quite like that. This one is the blueberry uh, iced tea. This leaf should melt a bit drier. I'd probably give that a 4 out of 5 American strawberries. Next we have the grapeseed apple. So here goes. Oh, I like this. This has got a fact at the bottom. Planet Saturn's density is, low, is lower than water. In fact, it would float if placed in water. And that is real fact, hashtag 728. You get all the real facts facts on schnapple.com and I'm going to actually link that in the bottom because I found that really interesting. It is American Ribena. I really like this. In fact, that gets a 5 out of 5 for its taste and also because of the fact. really do like the taste of that though. And my last one which is Schnapple Apple. Did you know that Real Fat Hashtag 674 states the oldest living animal ever was found was a 405 year old clam named Ming by researchers. Probably give it a 4 out of 5 like the Arizonas because I do like my Arizona but I'm definitely just going to start drinking more of this stuff as well because this is really nice. I'm going to magic all the way back up to 
my bedroom. What did I think of American food? Well, I enjoyed some, I didn't like some of the others, so it's probably alright, I guess. I think I'll probably live in America after that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. If you have, you may want to leave a like down below with a comment to tell me what your favourite American food is. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you may want to click just there. If you want to subscribe, click on there, that'll link you straight to my channel and the subscribe button. You can also subscribe down below if you want to click on that. You may want to go on Twitter, if you can find me on Twitter just there. And that's what I post on. And I also have started again posted on Snapchat, and my Snapchat is just there, if you want to click on that and watch things on Snapchat as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!